So we haven't seen the large scale protests, even though the opposition party calls what Kais Saeed has done a coup. But could that be changing now with this call to action? Well, uh, really, Mr. Saeed has used the COVID-19 pandemic to consolidate his powers and the security services of which he is nominally responsible have been increasingly violent towards his political opponents. Um, you spoke earlier about a former minister of justice uh, being arrested and severely beaten by the police. Uh, that's Mr. Nordin Perry. But the presidency has also been referring to uh, political opponents as threats to national security. Um, it has been inviting the armed forces to get involved in civilian affairs. And it has been weaponizing terrorism accusations against political opponents. Right. So Mr. Said's government has even sentenced his predecessor, Mr. Monsef Marzouki, to a four-year prison sentence in absentia. So even though uh, Mr. Said suspended parliament and has been ruling by decree since July, he continues to enjoy strong support. And his popularity really is a testimony of how this illusion Tunisians are with the poor economic performance of the country, with rampant corruption, and the never-ending political crisis of the last um, 10 years. Uh, any concessions that Mr. Saeed might make today or in the future will be the result of pressure coming from those um, he seeks to defend rather than his opponents. Uh, Mr. Saeed made many ambitious promises on social justice and economic growth, and many Tunisians are expecting concrete changes that will improve their uh, living conditions. Um, so should the president fail to fulfill its, uh, his ambitious promises, Tunisians might actually uh, continue taking to the streets today and in the future. All right, Marouane, thank you so much for that. Good to have you.